so let us come back and start with your uh, <coughs> preparations of primary amine that is your uh, uh, chapter uh, main content now whenever you're learning this chapter remember what am i going to do i'm going to teach you the conversion also i'm going to teach you the preparation also i'm going to teach you the chemical properties also so that everything is in the same page so whenever you're uh, watching this video because i upload it on daily basis if i write amines so take one page okay take one uh, take one register both the sides of the page note the whole reactions all the reactions which are uh, uh, linked to amines okay what is the use in the exam when you are trying to learn everything will be under those two pages or one page based on your handwriting so that is how i'm going to teach you even the conversions will be there so now when i have to learn primary amine first important thing you are going to take an alkyl halide to this alkyl halide you are going to add silver nitrate which is alcoholic medium why do i add because the silk precipitate out when this is precipitating out, you get CH3, CH2, NO2, nitroethane plus silver bromide. Done. Now, I said always nitro is converted to amino after amino only cyano. So, this nitro is going to get converted to amine. How? I have to take out this oxygen. I have to add one hydrogen to this which will get me the hydrogen reducing agents will get me the hydrogen isn't it so your reducing agents can be both just see it can be sn plus hcl metal acid or it can be lithium aluminium hydride both reducing agents so what will these two here important try to add six hydrogens i'm writing six hydrogens directly why ma'am why are you directly writing six hydrogens because just see <coughs> for this how many i need two hydrogens let us write that so both will give the same product in the paper if you see these two agents like this okay blindly remember the examiner wants you to add hydrogen to that so reducing agents so now ch3 ch2 nh2 how many have gone two have gone still i have four so four will come out as two water molecules with this oxygen oxygen is 2 2 hydrogen is 4 4 plus 2 6 done now i prepared primary i mean this is your preparation now this primary i mean why just see when i am going to introduce three important compounds one is this reaction is called acylation reaction this reaction is called benzoylation reaction <sighs> This reaction you are going to add or we call it as Hinsberg test also. Okay, you can see that. Hinsberg reagent. Hinsberg, Hinsberg's reagent. Now, what actually is this acylation? Acylation is addition of CH3COCl. Acyl group. Benzoylation is addition of c6 h5 cocl that is your benzoyl group benzoyl hinsberg reagent is c6 h5 so2 cl this is hinsberg reagent okay let's see now what will happen in the paper if they give you primary mean you have to add this and see just addition only now let me write the reaction down i'm taking this and this first your CH3, CH2, N, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here. I'm going to add acylation reaction. Cl try to write it on this side. C double bond O and CH3. As soon as you add acyl group, HCl is eliminated. Now, when HCl is eliminated, this group goes and joins to this group. So I'll write this as C2H5. Not problem, right? So now NH. This is C double bond O. This is CH3. Now, what is this compound? This is called amide. Let us write the product and name the compound. So, I am writing that product here. C2H5, NH, CO, CH3. Now, how many do we have? Here you have ethyl group. Here also you have ethyl group. How to name? Both are in the terminal corners. Means terminus. N comma N diethyl 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 yes what amide is it 
इतन ई ए टी टी एच ए एन ई जी थे नो टेक आउट दट ई एंड एड अ माइड इतन अ माइड That's it. Simple. This is called acylation. Now let us do benzoylation to this reaction. Same procedure. So in benzoylation, what is the difference? Here you have your benzene ring, isn't it? C six H five. Okay, your benzene ring. Same procedure. Minus HCl. Join these two. C two H five. N H C double bond O. C six H five. Amide linkage. Yes. Now, let us write the product here. C two H five N H C double bond O C six H five. Right. So now, what is this compound? <coughs> now N. This is phenyl. Phenyl ring, isn't it? Not benzyl. Phenyl. One hydrogen less. So phenyl. Right. Now, ethanamide. Ether. Ethan, ethan, amide. Why amide? Because this group. Now let us write Hinzberg reagent. So in Hinzberg test, what should I take? I am going to pick up CH three, CH two, NHHH. I mean, take the Hinzberg reagent. How are you taking? You are going to take chlorine in this side. S double bond O double bond O and your benzene ring eliminate HCl and form the product. What product do you get? C two H five N H S simple. Let us write that product. Yes. Now, what is this compound? This compound is benzene. This compound is sulfonamide because sulfonamide. Okay. Now this is ethyl, right? Now you can write ethyl benzene sulfonamide. Benzene sulfonamide. Sulfonamide. Simple, isn't it? Now these are the complete reactions. Okay, this is one set of reactions which you can study directly.